All right, so today we're gonna be breeding to get our shiny cinder ace from our raid If you haven't seen my previous video, I just finished the raid I did a solo so that way I'll be able to do the breeding as soon as possible. It did take me a little bit of time to get started so yeah um, the first things that we're going to need is of course going to be our Pokemon or if you have a friend that has been breeding it and you have a hatchlings and you have a score bunny, you can use that as well. So essentially here's the sender is that I caught. It's the, from the raid, a 100 perfect IV with the Liberto uh, hidden ability, adamant and nature. So pretty much this one's going to be the same exact thing, 6 IV, adamant and nature and you're also going to have the hidden ability. So in this case you can use either one of the two uh essentially you just got to give it the everstone to whichever one you want to use in this case i'm going to use the score bunny since it's the one that i was using earlier and we're going to continue using it uh as far as what we're going to breed it with we're going to use our six iv ditto that's a japanese ditto so essentially we'll be using the masuda method uh, as soon as we use that japanese ditto since the ditto is a six iv we're giving it a destiny nod so that you can pass down the ivs and we're giving the score bunny the uh, everstone so that we can pass down this nature so essentially because these two are six ivs the pokemon that are going to come out of it are going to be five ivs for the most part you're going to see a few six ivs and very rare you're going to see some four ivs essentially we're going to be looking for those five and six ivs with the hidden nature if possible if not you know as long as you just get a shiny with a five iv i'll be more than happy with that so essentially, now that we have our two Pokemon and we have the items on them that we need, let's go ahead and get started. Oh, one last thing too. Another Pokemon you are going to want is going to be uh, Talonflame. Essentially, I have mine with Flame Body. That way you're going to hatch your eggs faster. Trust me, this is going to save you a lot of time. So now that we have our Pokemon ready in our party, all we have to do is just start our picnic. And we're just going to make our egg power sandwich so that's going to be sandwich number 17 that's going to be our banana peanut butter sandwich so i'm going to show you how easy it is to make That's pretty much it. Short, sweet, and simple. You get your uh, egg power. You don't waste a lot of materials. And essentially this is gonna help you get uh, as much eggs as you can. So one thing to keep in mind is that the egg power is gonna last for 30 minutes. The maximum eggs you can keep in the basket is 10. So with the egg power too, your eggs are gonna, or your basket's gonna get filled with eggs a lot faster. So don't AFK for a long time. Put a timer for like three to five minutes. So that essentially you're able to keep checking on your basket to make sure it's not full. Right now I don't think there's going to be any. So we're going to wait a few minutes. And then we're going to keep checking it essentially. You want to get as many eggs as you can. The, sh uh, the shinies are all random. So usually what I did in this situation. I stacked up I want to say 60 to 100 eggs at once before I started hatching. And I just continued and I continued and I continued hatching. And uh, yeah. Uh, I'll continue. Sh I'll continue to show you what I ended up doing. All right, now that we have some eggs, I'm gonna show you a spot where I like to go and uh, hatch my eggs. It's pretty AFK because you can just spin around in a circle. You can hold the two joysticks together. Or you can put a rubber band between them and essentially just watch your character spin around in circles and hatch the eggs for you. All right, so like we were talking about earlier, we're going to want to take out our Talonflame or our Pokemon with our Flame Body, put them first in our party, and after that, put the eggs, uh, five eggs in our party, and then after that, we're just going to run around and hatch them. All 
and essentially I'm gonna fast forward really quick but this will be an example on how you can just hatch your eggs while spinning in a circle in one spot I'm also gonna show you a clip on how I was uh, breeding earlier I was doing two concerts at the same time I'm gonna show you how I was doing it while AFKing that way if you have any questions you can always leave the question down on the comments down below uh, but yeah, essentially I was trying to uh, expedite the process of getting this shiny even though it did take a lo little bit longer than expected for me. But let me show you how I was doing it with two consoles at the same time. So for a quick reference, uh, I do have the original video of when I did get the shiny earlier in the day. The audio, the game audio is a little bit delayed with the actual microphone audio. So you're going to see me speak before the sounds ca can come. But uh, essentially, it took me 21 boxes in Scarlet and 21 boxes in Violet. Essentially getting close to 1300 um, eggs that I hatched today just so I can get the one shiny. Uh, but here's the clip. I hope you enjoy. Oh, 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 yes, yes, yes. Yo, we finally got the score bunny shiny, bro. It took me forever. Oh, my God. <laughs> I thought this thing was impossible to get. Holy crap, dude. We finally got him. We got him. Oh my god. Yo, how many boxes? By the way, I got rid of 13 boxes on this one. Yeah, 13. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 21. So yeah, I still think it's wild that I did a uh, 1200 eggs. But anyways, here's a video of me leveling up the score bunny to uh, Cinder Ace. All right, so pretty much uh, there you have it. That's pretty much how to get a shiny Cinderace in that Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Uh, if you like the video, pretty uh, make sure you like and leave a comment down below. And if you want to watch any of my videos, they should be popping up on the screen now. I hope this video was helpful. I hope you get your shiny Cinderace. I hope it doesn't take 1200x like it did with me. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Have a good one.